Okay guys, so back on the boat this morning and we are going to be working on polishing our Alex Seal top coat paint. Now we did get a really nice finish off this off the roller but it's now ready for a quick wet sand and polish and in fact we've done a little test piece here, you can see the camera and we want that finish all the way around the boat. So what we've done here, we've, we've used 800 wet and dry and wet it down with a, we've got a little spray bottle and then we used a thousand and fifteen hundred and then I just used the mop with a 3m yellow wool pad on with some fast cut polish and that finish is exactly what we want all the way around taped off the corners as well just to make sure that we don't rub through and we forget a little bit of orange peel left on these we can always come back to them but We'd much rather that than actually rub through. It's so easy to go through this paint. So uh, just being extra careful with that. So we'll get all the tools together. Richard's just warming his feet up on the heater and we'll get cracked on with it. So we are on day two. This whole side now is wet sanded and polished and that looks super nice. That really does look good. We've wet sanded the top as well and then just started to polish. A couple of little blemishes in this bit here so we're just going to wet sand that again real quickly and then we'll polish all of that top and then we're hoping today to get all of the port side polished as well.
okay our sides and B pillars and A pillars have all been wet sanded and polished and these are looking really nice Richard is just going to wet sand this and we'll see if we can polish this front edge and also we're going to wet sand and polish this radar arch Okay, back in the workshop and we are back on this transom door. So some time ago, probably, well it was last year, probably about six months ago, wasn't it now? We had the damages on the side here where all the fiberglass had been ripped out and the, the hinges had damaged all of this. So we've replaced the core and re-gel coated it. And then to be completely honest, we had a bit of a nightmare with it, didn't we? Just kept gel coating it and then we kept rubbing through with the, with the sandpaper. And no, no matter what we did, we just kept rubbing through. So I just said to Richard, look, I'll take this away, gel coat it up, and I'll just keep fettling it and just keep messing around with it until I get it right. And several months later, <laughs> and about five, five attempts later, we're, we're sort of there, aren't we, I think. So we're, we're, we're happy with this now. So this has all been machine polished, uh, got rid of all of the damages. We'd say the damages on this side, there was also, we'd rub through on the bottom here and on the corner here so yeah but anyway now it's all had a full machine polish and a bit of a wax and it actually looks pretty good so uh, I think we're, we're happy with this so what we're going to do now is we've got the catch to fit on the inside here we've got a bit of a vinyl pad that I've made at home just as a bit of a test piece we're going to sort of do a test fit on that and we've got the uh, stop bung as well which just holds the door open um, which is like a rubber bung that just goes up against the uh, deck and the opening in the door and that just goes in there and just allows that transom door to be held open. Okay, so that was a quick job. Just fitted that catch, fitted the door stopper on the back there, and then just did a quick test piece. 
with this vinyl wrap. I mean, this is just this was just to see basically what we could do, what we you know what we're capable of. Just a little bit of practice in terms of sort of wrapping this vinyl. And um, like I just said to Richard, I mean, really, this was this transom door was pretty much trash, really. And it's actually shown with a little bit of work and a bit of a little bit of time. It's actually turned out really well. I mean, we could have tried to remould this, but that would have been a journey in itself. So I think I think we're pretty happy with the way this has turned out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we're being really critical, we've got a couple of little pinholes here, which are just the they would have been air bubbles in the original gel coat, but we just touched them in, so that's fine. When we're next doing a little gel coat repair, we're not going to mix some some up for this, so we'll just dob some in once we're doing a gel coat repair at some point in the future. There is also maybe some plans to put uh, a stainless steel nameplate on here or something, but that's all stuff for a later date. So what we're going to do now is we'll wrap it in some foam, get some cardboard up around it, put it into storage, and then uh, when we need it, we can pull it off the shelves. Okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.